image training every now and then to make sure I don't get too rusty. Time to see what I can do. And you're just the guy to help me do that. Much longer before this planet's ours. It would have been ours much sooner if you'd actually done your job, Raditz. Uh, sorry. And that's why everyone calls you Raditz the Runt. Things will be different on the next planet. <laughs> Mark my words, if you screw up again, I will kill you. Wait, I, I just remembered something. I think my little brother Kakarot was sent to a different planet. I'll bet he's still there. You have a brother? I didn't think there were any Saiyans left besides us. If he joins us, the rest of the universe will be ours in no time. The fact that he's your brother doesn't exactly fill me with confidence. What planet was he sent to? Uh, I think it's called Earth. But now that I think about it, I haven't heard anything about him taking control of it. Damn that Kakarot, what the hell is he doing? Attack of the Saiyans. Dad? Dad? Dad, we better head home or Mom's gonna be really mad at us. Sorry for getting a bit carried away, Gohan. 
I was fighting somebody super strong! Super strong? Yeah, a guy going by the name of Piccolo. Piccolo? Yeah, well, he used to be called Demon King Piccolo, and he was real bad to the bone. He's the strongest guy I've ever fought in my whole life! I don't think anybody's gotten me more pumped up than him! I want to fight him again, so I'm hoping to get stronger, and soon. I'd be afraid to fight someone like that. <laughs> you know, I'd bet you'd be just fine if you trained yourself up a bit. I don't think Mom would like that very much. Ah, that's right! I totally forgot that Chi-Chi asked us to get some ingredients for her. How could I not remember that? Ah, uh, think. What all did she need again? Oh, uh, I think she wanted some fish and apples, Dad. Oh, yeah, right. Let's just see if we can't find us some apples around this place. Okay, I'll go look. Gohan sure is full of energy. Don't get too excited and trip over your own feet. Now, where did that son of mine run off to? Safe to say he couldn't have gone that far. Dad! Over here! Hey! It looks like you found it. Let's try to find one more. What do you say? <laughs> Leave it to me. Gohan looks like he's having a blast. Hey now! Don't go wandering too far! Gohan, you're a regular bloodhound. All right, this ought to be enough. Oh yeah, we've got plenty of apples now. Thanks for finding these, Gohan. <laughs> oh, I'm kind of tired now, though. I get it, and I don't blame you. Hang in there, I got an idea. We'll catch some fish and then head straight home. Okay. First, we need to find a spot to fish. Okay, don't walk too fast. You got it. Try to keep up, though. Gohan? I'm tired. I can't walk anymore. <laughs> Man, you get tired pretty easy, don't you? <laughs> I guess I can carry you if you want. Hooray! Hello! <laughs> Yay! Look how high I am! Hey, you perked right up. Were you trying to trick your old man? <laughs> You're one spoiled kid, you know that? So, what do you want to be when you grow up? Hmm. Um, I want to become a great scholar. What? You're a weird one, aren't you? <laughs> well, I definitely can't help you with your studies or anything like that. But if you're ever looking to toughen up, I'm your man. Nah. Uh... Fighting is too scary for me. Come to think of it, this is your first time fishing, isn't it? Yep, it is. We should be able to catch something here. 
All right. Let's get started. But what are we going to fish with? We don't have any rods. <laughs> Nobody said anything about a rod, did they? Who needs one of those pesky things when you've got a tail? M my... my tail? I can use that to fish? Yep. By dipping your tail in the water, you can feel the fish moving around. Pretty neat, huh? It's really easy once you get the hang of it. I mean, I haven't done it in a while since I don't have a tail anymore. But when I told my friend Bulma about it, she actually made me a makeshift tail to fish with. <laughs> can you believe it? <laughs> nice! Oh, okay. So what do you say? Let's catch us some fish. All right, then let me show you how I used to do it back when I was your age. It'll be fun. <laughs> All right. I bet Chi-Chi will flip when she sees this one. Man, all this fishing is really working up an appetite, you know what I mean? Let's eat some of these fish. I mean, we've got plenty. <laughs> yeah, I I'm a little hungry too. <laughs> I'm hungry for some grilled fish. Okay. Time to grill up some fish! better than some fresh fish in your belly? Ugh, I think I ate too much, though. Well, if you want to be as big as your dad, you're gonna have to eat a lot of this stuff. <laughs> right. I had fun today, Dad. You know, I had fun today, too. Thanks for your help. I'll teach you how to fish next time so we can do it together. Okay. I can't wait! I bet you'd be pretty strong if you trained. I... I don't think so. Oh, yeah, Dad! I meant to tell you! I found this while you were fishing. I don't really know what it is, but here, you can have it. Really? Thanks, Gohan! <laughs> Should we head home now? All right, let's head home. Right. Here it goes. Flying Nimbus! All right, hang on tight. <laughs> Whoa! It's a dinosaur! Bye-bye! <laughs> Flying 
Riding Nimbus is super fast! I've been riding this whole thing since I was just a little kid! Only those with a pure heart can ride it. That explains why you've got no problems there! Yeah, this is fun! Hey, Chi-Chi, we're back! And we've got food! Hi, Mom! You're late, Goku! It shouldn't have taken you so long to gather ingredients! Yeah, sorry about that. We did some training, too. You're supposed to introduce Gohan to Master Roshi and the others today! Wait, that's today? Of course! Ah, sorry about that. I promise I'll remember next time. Forget it. What are you waiting for? Get in here! I need to get cooking right away! Now then, I'll just take these ingredients and whip you up something tasty. Dad? I'm going to see Master Roshi, my old master. His place is surrounded by the sea. It's loads of fun! Oh, yeah! This is the stone me and Krillin used in our training. Me and him had to hunt this thing down. Krillin beat me then, but only because he cheated. I had to go hungry that night. <laughs> Dig in whenever you're hungry. Thanks, Chi-Chi. Your stuff's the best. It really gets the blood pumping and the muscles moving. Right, Gohan? Yeah. Later, Chi-Chi. We're off to see Master Roshi. Wait a second. Are you forgetting something, Goku? I thought you had something for Gohan. Oh, yeah, that's right. Whoa, what a neat little ball. That little ball on top there? It's a Dragon Ball. I got it from my grandpa after he died. But that's not all you got from him. You were also named after him. Really? Oh my, Gohan looks so handsome. It'll be like he's watching over you whenever you wear that hat. So take real good care of it, okay, Gohan? Yeah, I will. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Dad. All right, we're leaving for real this time. Goku, don't let anything happen to our little Gohan. And Gohan, be on your best behavior. I will, Mom. Bye! I want you both home by supper, you got it? It's said there are seven mystical orbs capable of granting any wish when brought together. With them, anything the heart desires can be attained, whether unfathomable riches or absolute power. These mysterious wish-granting orbs are known as the Dragon Balls. And it's around these Dragon Balls that this extraordinary story unfolds, with new challenges and adventures awaiting Goku and his friends at every turn. Hey, Dad? What's Master Roshi like? Well, he looks like a feeble old geezer, but he's super strong. Really? 
Though, it's a real shame he's kind of a massive pervert. Yeah, he was my rival at the time, but now he's my best friend. Is Krillin strong, just like you? Yeah, seriously, out of all the guys I know, he's definitely up there. There's also a woman I know named Bulma. See, she was looking for the Dragon Balls when she ran into me, and we ended up going on adventures together. If we hadn't done that, I probably wouldn't have met Master Roshi and the others. I see. Yo! Oh, and who's this little guy? Meet my son. What? what? Your, your son? Yeah. Wild, huh? Nice to meet you. Oh, uh, n nice to meet you too. His name is Gohan. Gohan? Oh, so you named him after your grandpa, huh? Yeah. Suits him, don't you think? Goku, have you been training lately? Well, not as much as I want to. Chi-Chi gets pretty angry if I train too much, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, I haven't trained myself either. With Piccolo taken care of, things have been pretty quiet. Hey, you two, what are you talking about? Uh, uh, uh nothing really. Hmm, I could have sworn you two were talking about how you've both been slacking off on your training. <sighs> Guess there's no fooling you, is there, Master Roshi? It would seem you've both forgotten that training is a daily activity, not something you do only on special occasions. You should be moving, learning, playing, eating, and resting every day. That's the way of the turtle school. I can't argue with you there. Now, to make sure you two never forget your daily training, I've got a little challenge for you. Come report back to me once you've finished your training. Yes, sir, Master Roshi. Yes, sir, Master Roshi. Now, time to get back to my usual enjoyment. What's this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Man, I'm low on energy. 
So, he's got your looks, but does he have your power, too? I'm betting that he's pretty strong if I had to guess. But I can't be sure since Chi-Chi won't let me train him to find out one way or the other. Hey, Dad? What was that? Hmm, not sure. It ain't no meteor! Just as I thought, the creatures on this planet are still alive. Kakarot's failed us. Uh, who or what are you? A power level of only five? What trash. Uh, stay back! Ah! Is this the best this planet can muster? Well, now, here's a large power reading. Distance 4880. Kakarot? <laughs> what in the world could that have been? I've never felt a power like this. Not sure what this is, but I better check it out. It isn't Goku. Well now, this could be fun. But if it isn't him, then who is it? <gasps> What's going on? Chih, so it wasn't Kakarot after all. Who the hell are you? I don't have time to waste with you. Wait a minute. This is a Namekian, isn't it? What the hell is a Namekian doing on this planet? If that's true, then what are you even doing here? You got a death wish? <laughs> You've got spunk, I like that. Hmm. A power level of 322, huh? You're definitely stronger than the others. But you wouldn't even be a warm-up for me. You're making a mistake in underestimating me. Let's see if you can make this fun for me. Just one listen with this guy. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
that all, huh? Is it my turn now? Time to show you what real power looks like. <clears throat> I'm getting another large power reading. That's got to be Kakarot. <clears throat> Im impossible. Who the hell is this guy? And where is he going? <laughs> well, if it isn't Kakarot, you've grown. You look just like our old man. What? Tell me, Kakarot, what is this? You were supposed to exterminate all life on this planet. What have you been doing all this time? Huh? Who are you? And who's Kakarot? Should I know who that is? You have got to be kidding me. You don't remember. Fine then, allow me to refresh your memory. You're not from this filthy planet. You were born on planet Vegeta. You're a member of the proud and mighty warrior race, the Saiyans. And that's not all. I'm your older brother, Raditz. You're lying! That can't be true! Long ago, you were sent to this pathetic planet to rid it of all life! We say and search the universe for habitable planets and wipe out all who live there so that we can sell those planets to the highest bidder. We, snot-nosed brats like you, are sent to low-level planets like this. And fortunately, it looks like this one's got a moon. Uh, if this guy's telling the truth, then these Saiyans are some real bad dudes. Wait, what about the moon? What does that have to do with anything? Don't play dumb with me. We Saiyans release our true power whenever there's a full moon. Even chumps like you should know that. Eh? I don't know what you're talking about. You know... I think Krillin's right. You guys are the worst. My name's Son Goku, and I'm from Earth. Take your lies and get out of here. <laughs> well, I couldn't even if I wanted to. Because Planet Vegeta was blown to smithereens by a meteor. Almost all of our brethren have been turned to space dust now. Uh, including me? And you, there are only four Saiyans left. Just the other day, we found a planet that should fetch us a high price. The three of us were going to have a hell of a time trying to overtake it. And that's when I remembered you. Kakarot. The planet is as good as ours if you join us. Come on, Kakarot! Think of the fun we'll have! Isn't your Saiyan blood boiling with excitement? Just shut up! If you think I'm joining you, then you're dumber than you look! Huh. Fine. Be that way. That little runt with the tail behind you is your kid, right? I guess I'll just take him instead. Huh? Come any closer and I'll knock you sky high! Back off! <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, go ahead if you think you can. Gohan's not going anywhere with you! Uh, what the hell's with this guy? You're not my brother. You're nothing to me! What's wrong? You scared? Yeah, go on, get out of here! This planet isn't half bad. I think it could serve as our next time. Your kid's in real trouble if this is the best you can do. Don't worry, Kakarot. I'll 
I'll make sure to take good care of the boy. If you want him back, then you better do as your big brother says. Give him back! Don't even think about trying to be a hero. <laughs> You still got that dragon radar? Oh, I get it! That decoration on Gohan's hat was a dragon ball! All right, I'm off! It's now or never! You're as good as dead on your own! Piccolo! Neither of us has what it takes to face him head on. At least if we tried on our own. But together... If we were to team up, we just might be able to take him down. Yeah, you're probably right. But can I really trust you? What's your angle in all this? Don't get the wrong idea. It isn't that I care in the slightest about your little kid or the Earth. That fool is the only thing standing between me and world domination. The moment he and his cronies are out of the picture. I finally rid myself of you. Then the world will be mine for the taking. You're crazy if you think I'm about to let that happen. But for now, I guess we gotta join forces. Guess there's really no getting around that. Precisely. a little longer. Goku, get a move on. Quit messing around. You really don't recall anything about the Saiyans that Raditz clown was going on about? No, none of it rings a bell. It's crazy. I had no idea I had an older brother either. <laughs> I was hoping to milk some useful information out of you for our fight. Probably his weak point. If we can squeeze his tail, he should be vulnerable. That's what happened whenever mine got grabbed. How are we supposed to grab his tail? We're closing in on him. Let's head down and move in for the attack. No! He's using a device that tells him our strengths as well as our location. Level of 710. Where the hell? Kakarot's kid? 
No way! Damn, this thing must be busted! What? Another reading? And it's heading straight for me! There's one? No, there's two. With power levels 322 and 334. They've come. So, what brings you chumps here? Isn't it obvious? I'm here to get my son back. Where is he? You're hiding him somewhere, aren't you? His screaming was giving me a headache, so I locked him up in there. But forget about the rot. Don't tell me you actually think you stand a chance against me. You fool! You're not even fit to call yourself a Saiyan! Prepare to die! You know, believe it or not, battles aren't just about strength! Man, he's fast! combined power, you're still pathetic. But considering you weren't smart enough to heed my warning, don't deserve to live. You gotta be kidding me! You know what? Since you're going to die anyway, I might as well tell you something. The two Saiyans I mentioned earlier, they're even more powerful than me. If you've got a new attack hidden up your sleeve, now's the time to use it, Goku! <laughs> Sorry. I'm fresh out. <laughs> Lucky for you, I actually came up with a new technique while I was training. Really? A plan? Ha! It'd be easier just to lie down and wait for the sweet release of death! I'm just gonna need enough time to charge up the proper energy for it. <clears throat> gonna need you to keep him busy while I deal with this. Got it. I'll do what I can. Hope you're ready for this. Special Beam Cannon! Huh. You just don't know when to quit. You? Alone? What were you two trying to decide who gets to die first? He ain't planning on losing. I'm over! My power! Ah! 
This game ends now. show you mercy just because you're my little brother. Yes! Yes, that's what I like to hear. It'll all be over soon. <laughs> Don't get comfortable. You're next. Damn, if I try to hit him now, he's just going to dodge it. I... I can't be... beaten... 
by scum like this? I can't! <sighs> well, you just were. <laughs> I... I can't believe that Kakarot would just throw away his own life. You idiot. Trust me, Goku won't be dead for very long. What? Didn't you know? This planet is home to the Dragon Balls. They grant wishes. Absolutely any wish imaginable. Even bringing someone back from the dead. Damn it. Well, my comrades will be happy to hear that. <laughs> Everything you just said was transmitted to them on the other side of the universe. Once they've learned that I've died, I will come here. How long until then? When, when will they... When do you think they'll get here? Uh, a year. Just one year from now. <laughs> Damn it. One year before even stronger warriors arrive. You two... <laughs> have no hope of beating them. <laughs> Enjoy what little time you have left. <laughs> I... I see. That's pretty much it. Come on, Goku! Hang in there! It's not like you to give up so easily! <laughs> Krillin, you know... Dying... It's a lot worse than I thought it would be. Uh, yeah, but... Don't you worry! We're gonna bring you back really soon! <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Goku! What the? He's gone! Interesting. I bet Kami has something to do with this. Eh? Well, I guess we can put our minds at ease if Kami's involved. You guys need to get the Dragon Balls. Kami doesn't possess the power needed to bring someone back to life. Also, Goku's kid will be coming with me for the time being. Uh, what? Uh, you, you're kidding, right? What are you gonna do with him? With a little training and the right teacher, that kid could be capable of serious power. We're going to need all the power we can get before those two Saiyans show up in a year's time. Me training this little runt is our best shot to stand a chance. Once Goku's revived, Tell him he'll get his son back and in better shape than he left him. Meanwhile, on a planet far, far from Earth. Raditz. The bastard went and got himself killed. He always was an embarrassment. Still, I must admit, I'm very interested in these Dragon Balls. So they're capable of granting any wish? All right, let's go. We're gonna bring Raditz back from the dead? Don't make me laugh. We have no more use for that dead weight. We could wish for eternal youth, for immortality. Can you imagine it? 
Nothing could possibly stand in our way. Sounds good to me. Count me in! Invigorated by the prospect of attaining immortality with the Dragon Balls, the two Saiyans made their way to Earth. And that is why I brought him here as he is, to be trained further. Therefore, if it is agreeable to you, King Yama, I humbly ask that you allow him to meet with King Kai. Hmm, I see. So you intend to take this heaven-bound soul and subject him to the grueling 625,000-mile-long snake way so he can meet King Kai. Indeed. Very well. If you wish to see King Kai, then I suggest you be on your way. However, I should warn you that no one has ever, ever made it successfully, other than myself, of course, in over 100 million years. Must be one heck of a journey. I better get started. By the way, did a guy named Raditz come through here? Yes. We've got him marked down for hell, of course. Did he put up much of a fight? <laughs> he sure did. He definitely didn't go quietly, but I sorted him out. Whoa! You must be one heck of a strong guy! So, you were sent along with him, huh? I am the great King Yemma. I occupy a position above that of the Earth's Guardian. Do you know what that means? That means you're crazy strong, right? You don't seem to understand what I'm saying. Of course I'm strong! But it's not just my strength that serves me in this position. You need brains to do this kind of managerial work. Mana, mana what work? Now then, to help you better understand my work, let's give you a little quiz. Uh, well, um, actually, kind of in a hurry. Well then, if that's going to be your attitude, then I guess you don't need to see King Kai. Oh, what? No way! Okay, okay, I'll take the quiz. Why didn't you say that from the beginning? Anyway, let's begin. I'll let you through if you can answer all of my questions correctly. That's right. He made a mess of enough planets to earn himself a place in hell. In fact, he's one of the biggest pains we've ever had to deal with. Right, next question. Correct, of course I am. I am much more powerful. Isn't that right, Kami? Ah, yes, King Yemma. You are more powerful. Right. Next question. That's right. No matter where they're from, all who die come here. Like your brother. He wasn't an Earthling. Next question. Not bad. That's correct. Those pesky Dragon Balls are indeed how you do it. I hate those things. It's like my job doesn't even matter. Who created those blasted balls anyway? Care to shed some light on that, Kami? Oh, uh, King Yama, I... <sighs> Whatever. Moving on. Sorry, but that's incorrect. Huh? What? This is the fifth question, right? Really? Um, one, two, three... Hmm... Of course it was, I... I was just testing you. 
And you passed the test. Well, that was the true fifth question. There's that trademark denial of his. Mm, I heard that, Kami. Maybe I'll send you to hell when it's your time. Oh, please forgive me, your highness. Boy, he's got one hell of a sense of hearing. <laughs> oh, you think you're some sort of funny man. Hmm. That's enough of all this. I will allow you to see King Kai. Wow, really? Thanks a bunch, Mr. Yemma. Don't tell me you've forgotten who you're talking to. No, 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 Mr. I'm King Yemma. I haven't. <laughs> That's more like it. If you're going to see King Kai, then go. Well, this is where we part ways. Good luck, Goku. Thanks. I'm not really sure what to expect, but I'm pumped to meet this King Kai guy. Time to wake up, kid. You've slept long enough. Huh? Who... Who are you? Listen up. Time for a reality check. Your daddy is dead, okay? He sacrificed himself to kill the man who kidnapped you, in case you forgot. If his friends are vigilant and able to find the Dragon Balls, they can bring him back. However, we've got other things to deal with. Though we were able to defeat Raditz, it sounds like we've got two of his buddies to worry about a year from now. If that's really the case, your father and I probably aren't going to be enough to take these guys down. We need power. Your power. You're going to have to learn to fight and defend the Earth. Gohan's Crash Course in Survival. But... I... I... I'm no... I'm no good at fighting! Quit your whining! Once I'm done whipping you into shape, you'll be tough enough for anything. Got it? So, you, you're gonna train me? Okay, what do I have to do? You have to live out here on your own, without distraction. I'm giving you six months. If you're able to survive for that long, I'll teach you how to fight. See ya. Uh, wait! It's scary out here! Don't leave me!
Little twerp. Didn't go and get himself killed already, did he? If the little brat dies here, then that's all he'd ever amount to. A little brat. <laughs> Looks like someone wants to die. <laughs> what the hell are those things? That kid's probably got his hands full right now. Guess I'll have to take care of them myself. Where these things are there. Now then, time to check on that little rug rat. Hopefully throwing him to the wolves toughened him up. I'm hungry. I'm so hungry! Little brat. We still don't have what it takes to fight the Saiyans. His latent power is our only shot. <laughs> Fine. Just this once, I'll throw him a bone. Looks like there's only apples to eat around here. Oh well. <laughs> One's probably not enough. Kid's proving to be a real pain in my neck.
for nighttime at least. Oh, it's the moon! Whoa, it's so big and round! This is the first time I've seen a full moon. What the? There won't be any Earth to protect if this keeps up! We Saiyans release our true power whenever there's a full moon. Even chumps like you should know that. That's right! The full moon! Imagine a kid had such a transformation in him. Must be a Saiyan blood. Looks like he needs a full moon and that tail of his to transform. Better get rid of it now. Now that that's taken care of, here's some clothes and a sword. I've got my own training to get to, so you're on your own again. If you can somehow manage to survive the next six months, then you will have earned the honor of being trained by the great Piccolo. You're gonna wish you'd never been born when I'm done with you. Hope you're ready. when he was a kid. You're definitely related. Wait a second. Are you... Are you his kid or something? Y yeah. My name's Gohan. Cool. I'm Yajirobe. You know, me and Goku are real tight. We go way back. Oh. Uh... 
Man, must be pretty rough, huh? Having Piccolo on your back like that. I know the feeling. Bulma won't get off mine. She kept going on and on about how you were kidnapped and needed help. Or something. Anyway, she wouldn't leave me alone about the whole thing, so that's why I'm out here. But you know, I, I kind of got lost looking all over the place for you. I was starting to get worried. I was just about ready to peace out and head home, so, uh, good thing you found me, huh? Uh, oh! Uh, I bet you're having some trouble getting food, huh? Yeah! Well, this meat here is mine, so, uh, can't just give it to you. Instead, I'll teach you how to hunt. Oh, so that's what you meant by help. Well, yeah. Look, little dude, if I just swoop in and take you back, Piccolo's gonna kill me. So anyway, uh, yeah. I'll turn you into a master huntsman. This is how you do it. All right, then, let's give it a whirl. Just follow my lead and you'll be a pro in no time. Check it out. You can find some deer near trees with fruit on them. Mr. Yajirobe said I should approach deer from behind if I want to catch them. Here goes. Lucky! Yeah. Uh, run away if they see me. Wow, this energy's incredible. Up on them from behind. Don't see me coming. All right, I got them all. Yeah, this ought to do it. There, you should be good on your own now. Um, yeah, I guess. Wait, you're leaving? Yeah, see, the thing is, I'm actually training under Kami right now. If I don't head back soon, that green geezer's gonna flip his lid. So yeah, you know, I think I'm gonna split it. Oh, okay. Boom! Take it easy, Squirt! That guy's really something. I'm, I'm sure I could find something to eat, but I really wish I could go home. What the? No way the Saiyans are here yet, but I'm sensing incredible power. Better go check it out. Goku can't possibly be back already. There's no sign of the Dragon Balls having been used yet. Piccolo. Huh. So the power I sensed was from you. Looks like you knew I was nearby. Not bad for a dead weight like you. You've got quite the mouth on you. Don't think for a second that I've started trusting you. To me, you're still the enemy. I'll defeat you here and now if I must. What? You think you actually stand a chance against me? I do. I did train under Kami. Huh. Is that so? He instructed me to return to the surface and further polish my technique by sparring with an even stronger opponent. And I can think of no better opponent than you. Let me show you how strong I've become. Sounds good to me. I could use the entertainment. I'll play along. Oh, hey, you fought Goku in the World Tournament, didn't you? That's right. 
Could you fight me at his best back then? <laughs> thought. At least you can dodge basic key blasts. I guess that training of yours wasn't a waste of time. You scum. How dare you! You may have the upper hand now, but not for long. I'm going to eventually defeat you. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. energy from this thing is incredible. If I'm going to fight, this might be a good opportunity to see how effective my training's been. P Piccolo? So the power I felt was coming from you, huh? Oh, 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 yeah. Krillin said you're fighting on our side now. W which is perfect. <laughs> that means you can really help me out. Let me try out some of my moves on you. You fight me? You're dumber than you look. <laughs> well, you're looking at the new and improved Yamcha, thanks to Kami. Huh, is that so? Yeah, Kami says I gotta fight someone stronger than me now. But, you know, I'm thinking I could even beat you now. I'm not about to get left in Goku's dust again. Buckle up, buddy, because you're in for a real challenge. Fine, but don't blame me if you die. It seems you know who I am. Whoa, Piccolo, you're all right. Of course I do. I got Goku in the World Tournament. I was there, too. Wait, I think I do remember you. You're the loser that couldn't beat Tommy disguised as a human. <laughs> oh, come on! Don't be saying that! Maybe now you realize how powerless you actually are. Give me a break! Disoriented! Huh. Our difference in power should be obvious now. What's going on? I should be better than this. You're not too bright, are you? Did you just think I was sitting around doing nothing while you were training? Train all you want, but it's never going to be enough to beat me. Oh, man, maybe you're right. Huh. Don't feel too bad. You're still alive, aren't you? That's something. But you're gonna need a different approach to your training. Uh, come on. Don't count me out just yet. I've got what it takes. Whoa. 
Whoa, this power is amazing. stronger than usual uh yeah i trained at kami's place so uh um you, you want to see what i can do you don't look too confident i can tell this won't go well for you can you blame me i mean i was killed by a demon clan member once before you guys freak me out <laughs> pathetic guess i'll just have to beat that fear out of you come at me why, you? Here goes! I see. You and I have fought each other before. Yeah, we came back during the World Tournament. What, is that all you can do? Let's see if you've got any better. I'm not done yet! Huh? You actually held your own. Thanks, I guess. Looks like you're doing something right in your training. Okay, yeah, I, I think I got this. If you don't want to die a second time, then you need to train more. Do that, and maybe I'll view you as more than just a waste of space. Hey, I'll show you! I'm a student of the great Master Roshi, just like Goku. Which means I'm gonna get stronger, just you wait! I better see how the little runt's doing. Hope he's toughened up since the last time I saw him. Whoa! This power is amazing! Seems like you managed to survive after all. Meanwhile, in order to begin his training with King Kai, Goku continued his arduous journey across Snake Way. After what seemed like forever, he finally reached his destination. Man, this is tough. Oh man, at this rate, it's gonna take me way longer than a year to get to King Kai's place. Wait a sec. Hey, that's the tail! Yes, I did it! I made it to the end! Uh, wait. There's... There's nothing here. Huh? Oh, what's that round thing up there? That must be where King Kai is! Hell yeah! Yep, no mistake about it! There's even a house! 
So if this is King Kai's place, where is he? Ah! Who... who are you? Hey, know what you call a cow with no legs? Ground beef! Huh? No, oh, maybe you were too starstruck and didn't hear me. Man, you're hopeless. All right, let's see if this one tickles your funny bone. Hello? I've got a joke to tell. Huh? No one's there. Guess I better tell the phone. <laughs> Nailed it. Wait, huh? What's going on? What's wrong with you? Why are you even here? Well, I... I was hoping you could train me. Train you? Get out of here! I can't train someone who doesn't have a sense of humor! Oh, come on, King Kai! I'm begging you! Well, I guess I could... if you pass my little test. If you can make a master comedian like me laugh, then I'll train you! Wait, you want me to tell you a joke? Mm. Uh, have a nice trip. See you next fall. <laughs> hey, you laughed. I saw it. <laughs> You're pretty good. I'll give you that. I will teach you the ultimate joke. Nah, I'm done with jokes. I came here to train. You came here to train? Well, why didn't you say so? I'm going to need to test you, though. I need to see what I'm dealing with here. Great, you got it. Ah! Who? Who is this guy? Very well. I will train you. This guy just might actually have what it takes. He might be able to handle the Kaioken, and maybe even my greatest technique. in this area. They can be pretty dangerous, so I need to be careful. like the pathetic whiny kid who couldn't get his own apples is long gone. Y you're the guy that left me here! The name's Piccolo. Don't forget it. P piccolo Uh... Wait a minute. He's not the same Piccolo my dad fought a long time ago, is he? 
I'm gonna bet your dad told you about me. Which means you know just how terrifying I am, right? Oh! Uh... Yeah, I remember him saying something about Demon King Piccolo being a really bad guy. All right, let's get down to brass tacks, shall we? First, you need to learn how to fly. There you go. You can finally start controlling some of your energy. <laughs> you won't be so happy for long. I'm going to teach you true combat. Now get ready to spar. Come talk to me once you're ready. Don't even think about trying to run away. You got that? Crying, huh? Well, let's get right to it. Prepare yourself. Um, okay. Don't look. Feel. Think about what you need to do. Then do it. Uh, I am. It's just. Damn it. We've only got six months left. I'm aching all over. I can barely move. Ah! Let go! Damn it! That's enough. We'll call the day for now. Finally, it's over. I guess you're no longer the little crybaby you were six months ago. <laughs> hey, I was wondering. You fought my dad a long time ago, right? I did, and I've still got a score to settle with him. Once the Saiyans are gone, your dad's next. But you know, my dad told me something. He said, you're not like the old Piccolo. He said, you don't seem like such a bad guy. <laughs> I think my dad's right. Even though my mom and grandpa are still scared of you. Just shut your mouth and try to get some sleep. I'm gonna put you through hell tomorrow. King Kai. Now, let's see you form a spirit bomb and use it to destroy this extra fast brick. Got it. <laughs> yeah. Wow! I, I can't believe it. Well done, Goku. Thanks. It wasn't easy. It's like I keep saying. The spirit bomb is formed by gathering energy from everything around you and concentrating it into a ball. It's incredibly powerful. Screw it up and you'll blow the very planet you're trying to protect to pieces. And that's why you should only use it as a last resort and only once for that matter. Hmm. Just as I thought, he very well might be able to go through the entire training regimen.
This isn't break time. Remember this. You eat, sleep, fight. That's your life now. Don't you dare forget it. B but what if I just... That's enough! Unless you want to die, you have to get stronger. Stronger than me, and stronger than the Saiyans. I, I know, it's just... Less complaining, more fighting! <sighs> we'll eat for now, but then it's back to business. do is train when I'm not eating or sleeping. I'll die before I get very strong. There's no way I'm gonna be as strong as my dad or Mr. Piccolo. It's impossible. Wait, now's my chance. I can sneak home. Uh, all right. I, I think I'll go looking for something to eat. <laughs> wow, this energy's incredible! Mr. Piccolo's way stronger than me. If I keep up his training, there's not gonna be much left of me. I'm just gonna get in the way. I wonder how mom's doing. I could really go for some of mom's dumplings. Don't oh, hurry, Mr. Piccolo's gonna find out what I did. Dad? You bet! We've been on all sorts of adventures together! Whoa! I'm poor! You may have heard about me from Goku! No, not a word! Well, that's Goku for you! But you must have heard about Yamcha, right? Nope! Nothing yet! Of course you have! Wonderful! So, uh, what brings you here? Yamcha, and this place has the best ingredients around. So I'd better get back to work. I have a few more items to pick up. Sure. All this talk of food is making me hungry. I should get Mom to fix me something. A pork bun would sure hit the spot. No! Stop right there! <laughs> run into them again. And when I do, I'll be ready for them.
that strong? Sure you are! And brave to boot! Like father, like son! I couldn't even handle those enemies! I'm totally useless! But you didn't run away, right? Yamcha is hard at work training! The least I can do is fix him a hot meal! Plus, Yamcha is always telling me! He can give 100% because I'm around! That's why I can't give any less myself! Everyone's working so hard! Look at the time! I'd better get back and start preparing! Thanks for the help, Gohan! See you around! Piccolo's one tough teacher! But I am getting stronger! Maybe I can keep at this a little longer. I'm gonna be strong like Dad and Mr. Piccolo, so I can protect you and everyone else! <laughs> If it weren't for Mr. Piccolo, I wouldn't be as strong as I am now. And if I keep up my training, maybe I'll get even stronger. All right, better get back. Piccolo? I... Give me all you got. What? I want you to try and kill me. Come on! I thought you wanted to be strong like me and your old man. I, I do! Is this it? You think this is enough to take on the Saiyans? Here I come, Mr. Piccolo! What are you doing, damn it? Do you want to die? No! Get that feeling. Right. Looks like you're finally starting to show some promise, kid. I mean, uh, Gohan. Thank you, Mr. Piccolo. <laughs> wow. <laughs> My mom would freak out if she saw me like this. Then I guess you'll be needing a fresh set of clothes. Wait, this is... What, you got a problem with it? N no, not at all. Thank you, Mr. Piccolo. <laughs>
Well, not much longer now. The Saiyans should be arriving on Earth sometime tomorrow. Ah. Oh no! How can I be so stupid? Uh, what? What's wrong? Ah, I totally forgot how long it's going to take you to travel back across Snake Way! Quick! Put your hand on my back! And tell your friends to revive you with the Dragon Balls! Yeah, sure thing! Come forth, Shinron! Huh? Your halo's gone! That means you've been revived! Now go! Hurry! Right! Thanks for everything, King Kai! See ya! And so, the fated day had finally arrived. planet huh. guess we should go pay our respects to the little twerps huh <laughs> first things first we'll seek out the highest power level when we do, we'll likely find Raditz's killer. Or perhaps Kakarot's son. <laughs> Found you. All right, Nappa. Time to have some fun. What? A huge power is heading this way. I have to tell Mr. Piccolo. Wow, this energy's incredible. Say it. Finally here! Mr. Piccolo! They're here, which means they'll be heading straight for us. Hey, uh, Piccolo, it's been a while. You're one of the people I saw at Master Roshi's. Yeah, I'm Krillin. Man, you really have grown up, haven't you? You look just like Goku when he was a kid. That's enough chit-chat. They're here. Well, well, looks like you've been expecting us. You got that right. Huh? What's a Namekian doing here? <laughs> Namekian? Oh, I get it. It's been said that Namekians possess extraordinary fighting skills, as well as magical abilities. You must be the one who created those Dragon Balls we've heard about. <laughs> they know about the Dragon Balls? That's the whole reason we came to this puny planet. Now hand them over! You may be a Namekian, but there's still only one of you. This is gonna be like swatting away flies! Sorry to burst your bubble, but I didn't create the Dragon Balls or anything else. My specialty is destruction. And if I'm a fly, then just try and swat me! Very well. Let's see what the Namekian and his little friends are capable of. <laughs> Looks like you and me are thinking the same thing, Vegeta. Guys look pretty tough. <laughs> huh? It's the end, and Chaozu's with him. 
Hey guys, sorry we're late. Yamcha! Yamcha? You mean the person Poir was talking about? Yep, the one and only. He must be Goku's kid. Well, he definitely looks the part. Yeah, he's like a mini Goku! Um, nice to meet you. My name's Gohan. Look at that. A few more pipsqueaks have come to play. <laughs> Relax, we'll make this quick. Gohan, this is it. Show them what you can do. Right. Count me in, too. I've done my fair share of training. Make them suffer, Cybermen. to be something entertaining after all. Well then, who's next? Let me at him. I'll show him that I'm not messing around. Come on, let's do this. You green goons better give him hell. I guess those little monsters weren't as tough as you thought they were. I'll finish the rest of them off by myself. Look! Yamcha! What the? He blew himself up. I believe it's time we end this little game. <laughs> Finally! I was getting tired of waiting. Which one wants to die next? So, who wants to die first? Yamcha! You gotta be kidding me! How are we supposed to explain this to Poir and Palma?
this powerful? Shoot. Time to cause some real damage. You all better kiss your butts goodbye. talking about Kakarot, would you? Y yeah So what's it to you? Ah, just as I thought. I guess the Dragon Balls revived him after all. Do you truly believe that he can save you? After all, he could barely handle a weakling like Raditz. He's gotten stronger since then. I'm sure of it. He's gonna make you beg for mercy. Do you hear me? He's gonna make you beg! Oh, I wouldn't underestimate Goku if I were you. <laughs> oh, yeah? If he's so tough, then where the hell is he, huh? He'll be here. My dad's definitely gonna come. Then I guess we'll just have to wait for him, won't we? Three hours is all he gets, and not a second longer. Three hours? Ah, there ain't no point in waiting around. Screw it. I'm gonna have some fun. Nappa! Didn't you just hear me? S sorry, Vegeta. G guess I got a little carried away. The big oaf is shaking in his boots. The smaller guy's the one we need to keep an eye on. I'm sure of it. Come on, Goku. Quit making us wait and get over here already! Come on, show us just how much stronger you've become! D dad What do you want, kid? You itching to get your head beat in already? What's wrong? Are you tired of waiting for Kakarot? G Goku, where are you? Of all the times for him not to show up. Hey, you think we can make a break for it? These guys mean business. They plan on wiping out the entire planet. D Dad? Piccolo, you should get out of here if things start to get hairy. What do you mean? You die. Kami dies too, right? If that happens, then we can kiss the Dragon Balls goodbye! No. I don't need your sympathy. Just focus on winning. Uh, right. Uh, yeah. Mr. Piccolo? We don't have much time left.
Time's up. Too bad. I guess Kakarot was too scared to show his face. Finally. You twerps are in for a world of pain. What's with this energy? It's... it's incredible. And it's heading this way. W wow! You're right, it's huge! And it feels kind of familiar. Only Goku could have this much energy. Kakarot. Where? Hmm? Vegeta! Are these punks telling the truth? We'll find out soon enough whether this is actually Kakarot or not. Power level... 5,000? No, no way! Y your scouter must be busted or something! Nappa, hurry up and kill the Riff Raff. They could be a real pain if they team up with Kakarot. But, but what about the Dragon Balls? Forget about them! I've got a better idea. That Namekian's home planet should have Dragon Balls even more powerful. We'll do far better heading there instead. Don't you understand? If Kakarot actually lives, then that legend has to be true! Huh? Get out of here, Mr. Piccolo! I'll handle them until my dad gets here! If you die, we'll definitely lose Kami and the Dragon Balls! <laughs> a runt like you can't handle them all alone. Handle me, huh? <laughs> this kid over here is a real riot! Gohan's gonna be brave, and I will too! Either way, you're all dead! Solar Flare! No way! Look at that! The little pipsqueak's got some power! My arms are all tingly now! See if you can make this fight for me! Mr. Pickle! 
All right, I made it! Goku! Kami! Quickly, grab hold of me! Thanks! Well, that young man, he, he actually made his way back from King Kai's planet! Well, I'm off! I'm fully trained and ready to go! We're counting on you. Vegeta. I'm sensing some crazy energy over there. I'm picking up two massive sources of power. There's two even bigger ones. And one small one, too. Those numbers don't add up. Wait, did somebody die? How pathetic. To think the great Demon King Piccolo would go down like this. Protecting a little brat like you. It's laughable. <laughs> I, I blame you and your dad. Your stupid softness rubbed off on me. But go on. I... I want you to know, you're the only real friend. The only real friend I ever had. These... these past few months, they really weren't half bad. You... you'd better not die, Gohan. It appears I'm not long for this world. But, but at least it seems Piccolo has finally surpassed me. I, I can die happy knowing that. Come, me. <laughs> Wasn't planning on killing him just yet, but whatever. <laughs> I can't wait to see the look on Kakarot's face when he sees his little twerp squashed like a bug. I 
Piccolo. Tianxin Han. It, Yamcha. Chiatsu. Kami. They're all gone. I'm not gonna let you get away with this. What are you looking at, punk? You got something to say? I'm gonna pound you into a pulp! There's no way a small fry like you stands a chance against the mighty Nappa! You talk tough, but you're nothing special. What the hell you just say? You think an elite warrior like me is gonna let old class scum like you treat me like this? It looks like you're finally getting fed. You better shut that mouth of yours before I do. That's more like it. I'm expecting a good fight from you. Nobody like you! Nappa! That's more than enough! I'll take care of him! Since it's a direct order, I'll let Vegeta handle you. But I'm not done playing just yet! Oh no you don't, Kai! Okay! I don't think he can fight anymore. Now take him with you and leave Earth this instant! Vegeta! Help me! What are you doing? Vegeta! I've got no use for a Saiyan that can't move! This guy, he just, he just killed his own partner! You two, go! Get back to Kame House, now! What? Look, this guy seems a lot tougher than I thought he'd be. Oh, okay, Dad. We'll go. Goku, wait. Couldn't you just fight this guy somewhere else? Why? Look, I, I don't want anything to happen to these guys before we can bring them back. Bring them back, but Piccolo and Kami, the both of them are dead. Which means that the Dragon Balls are gone too. I hate to say it, but we can't bring them back now. Wait, Krillin? Are you... Huh? What is it? I'll explain later. Just you make sure that you send this guy packing, all right? Send him packing? Huh. Yeah, that's the plan. Okay. I'll do what I can. Sorry to do this again, Goku. But we're all counting on you. Don't you dare go dying on us, buddy! You got it. Go on. If I make it back, what do you say we go fishing again? Just you and me. Uh, okay. Change of plans. We're moving. Fine. Makes no difference to me. I need to move the fight somewhere with no other people. Yeah! 
hell in the world is Krillin planning on bringing everyone back? First, I'll take Vegeta down. Then I'll ask him. Okay, this ought to be a good spot. No people or animals in sight. As Saiyans, our worth as warriors is measured and judged at birth. Those with no potential like you are sent to inferior planets like this. Thrown away and forgotten like the garbage you are. With enough hard work and training, even garbage can surpass the elite. <laughs> That's quite a sense of humor you've got. You're about to learn the hard way that effort alone isn't enough to reach my level. Ha! Yeah. <sighs> 
He's a tough one! <laughs> That's it! You're finished! Kakarot! Burst open and mix! What? What the? The land, the sea, all creatures of the earth, and all living things. Please, lend me some of your energy! I know you're tired, but we're headed for Kami House. Can you make it? Yeah! Hang on, Gohan! What is that? I'm not sure, but it's some really massive energy. I I'm heading back! It's my dad! He's in trouble. I can feel it. Behind you! Power struggle with the Prince of Sails. What on earth is that weird ball of light? What's going on? This weird huge energy is getting even bigger! Uh, I don't think it's my dad's power that's gone up, is it? It feels different! Hurry! We're almost there! It's gotta be that weird creep's power! K Krillin! Wh what's that? Get out, Gohan! Don't let him see us! Hey! Yeah, yeah Jirobe! Did you forget what that furry freak is? He's a Saiyan! A Saiyan! We know. But if we can cut his tail off, he'll revert back to normal! Gohan, Yajirobe. Yeah, you guys get in front and distract him. I'll wait for an opening, and then I'll slice his tail off. Uh, okay. What? Distract him? Are you out of your mind? Look, man, even if you cut him down to size, he's still gonna knock you guys silly. Hmm? Seems I've got 
to the welcome guest. Where are you? Over here! Let go of my dad, you monster! Well, well, well. If it isn't Kakarot's little brat! Now, my chance. Crypto guest! Ah! <laughs> no way! <laughs> nice try going for my tail, but I can see right through you! Insignificant trash! You're all dead! Do you hear me? I'll start with you! Believe it! Damn you, you little runt! You're going to wish you'd never been born! I'm gonna defeat you! Krillin, come here. I need your help. Goku, are you alright? Now's our only chance. I'm gonna... I'm gonna give you... All the energy... I gathered... From the Earth. What? Krillin, grab my hand. Like this? Yeah, you got it. And now, turn your palm up and concentrate the energy into a ball. Just trust me. Whoa! There it is. So this is the... That's a spirit bomb. You, you did it. Krillin, you gotta hit him with that. You have to. Okay, I'll do what I can. Leave it to me. <laughs> Come on. I, I can't hit him if he keeps moving all over the place like that. You don't use your eyes when throwing the spirit bomb. Seek out his evil energy with your mind and release the attack. Who's there? I am King Kai, the one who taught Goku the spirit bomb technique. Remember, that ball contains the hope of every person on the planet. Okay, seek out his evil energy. I can feel it. I can. I can feel his evil energy. We 
we did it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we did it! <laughs> You've really done it this time! You had me thinking I might actually die! How dare you! Your history! How can I, the great Vegeta, be reduced to this? Where do you think you're going? <laughs> Regain his strength and come back and kill everyone. I, I know. Uh, th this guy killed our friends. He came here to massacre everyone on the planet. He's not just gonna pull a piccolo and just change sides. We have to stop him. I know, come on. But, but please, please, I know what I'm asking is selfish, crazy even. Do me this favor. Let him live so I can fight him again someday. <laughs> okay, fine. I guess if anybody's got the right to ask for that, it's you. I mean, if it weren't for you, this whole planet would be toast. But if we're gonna do this, then you gotta blow this guy away with everything you got when he comes back. You got it. <laughs> You're going to regret this. You... You won't have another miracle to save you next time. <laughs> Enjoy this time, because it's all you have left. <laughs> there they are! Hey, over here! Whoa! Boma? Yamcha, the others, they're all gone. We're, we're the only ones left. Piccolo's gone too. Uh, that means Kami and the Dragon Balls. They're all gone. So, so you mean Yamcha can't 
ever be. <laughs> Bulma, don't cry. Actually, there might be a way for us to bring everyone who was killed back after all. What? Those Saiyans saw Piccolo and said something about him being a Namekian. They said the Namekian home planet, planet Namek, should even have more powerful Dragon Balls. Then, then that means if we head over to that Namek place or whatever, we... We might be able to get our hands on some Dragon Balls. Hey, it's me, Goku! You know, in the fight with Vegeta, we lost a lot of our friends. And with Piccolo gone, we can't use the Dragon Balls to bring anybody back. Wait a second. There are Dragon Balls on Planet Namek? Kami's homeworld? How are the guys gonna get there? Stay tuned for the next episode of Dragon Ball Z! The legendary Super Saiyan versus the evil Emperor Frieza! Don't miss it!